the land on which the Boscona Theatre stands, the land on which we usually gather and look forward to gathering again, is in Treaty 6 territory, which has, for thousands of years, been the traditional home and meeting ground of Treaty Signatories the Cree, Nakota Sioux, Dene, Soto and Blackfoot, as well as the Métis and other indigenous peoples. We extend our love and respect and heartfelt gratitude for the opportunity to live, create and perform on this land, and to gather for evenings like this, where, whether in person or through the magic of technology, we can celebrate the season together. Hello, I'm Kendra Connor. I'm the executive director of the Varscona Theater, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to our second ever virtual holiday gala. I'm here, Christmas cocktail in hand, coming to you from my living room. I know that not everybody is ready to come back to attend live theater events yet, so tonight is our way of bringing theater to you. We have an incredible program lined up for you tonight that features some of our favorite Varscona artists. We are also here to raise crucial funds for the theater as we rebuild and recover our audiences from the COVID-19 pandemic. I'll come back to talk more about that later, but let's get this party started. Our featured artist this evening is someone that Barscona audiences will know and love. She's a very dear friend of mine and an absolutely incredible artist. Ladies and gentlemen, Andrea House. <laughs> Thank you. 
Why, hello, Rachel. Why, hello, Belinda. Why, hello, people at home. Why, hello, people at home. Happy holidays <laughs> yes. to all of you. Mm -hmm. From Rachel and myself here at the yes. Barscona Theatre. All decked out in holiday cheer, as you can see. That's right. What are we doing here today, Rachel? We're going to make the holidays more cheerful by making cocktails. Ah! Ooh -hoo -hoo. Very festive ones, in fact. We're going to be making a Negroni and also a Boulevardier. <gasps> Two cocktails? Two cocktails almost for the price of one. For the price of one and a bit. And you'll see what I mean by that. Oh my God. That's, that's even more exciting. Isn't Tell it? me more! <laughs> I will! So Negroni, it's very simple. It's mm -hmm. equal parts of gin, Campari, and vermouth. So you can do one ounce, one ounce, one ounce, Nine one. ounces, nine ounces, nine ounces. One bottle, one bottle, one bottle. <laughs> yes, that's right, absolutely. Depending on how large or small the party is or how greedy you are, whatever you'd like to do. It's the holidays, think of yourself. <laughs> that's the spirit of the holidays. <laughs> yes, I think so too. Think of yourself. Think of yourself. We gotta self-care in the holidays. It's you true, actually, to. no, truthfully, you do have to think of yourself. <laughs> you do. So let's make one of these fabulous Negronis. Yes, let's. What happens? What happens? First of all, we start with one ounce of gin. All right. And we're going to pour it into this very handy mixing jug that we ah. have. There we go. You don't have to use one of these. You can stir this. It's a stirred cocktail, not shaken. But this, is, but this is a special uh, cocktail uh, um, um, measuring jug, so you wouldn't yes. want to make gravy in here after your Negroni. Or maybe no. you would. Maybe you would, certainly not before. No. I can tell you that for a fact. Right. Sounds like I've done it, but I haven't, and now I'm certainly not going to. <laughs> the next move is an ounce of Campari. Ooh. I know, it's so pretty. <gasps> it's so pretty. Immediately makes it a festive little drink. So It does. Beautiful. Do you know what? Mm. This combination of gin and Campari, if you then added a very, very small amount of tonic water yes. and a slice of lemon, yes. this would be uh, my father's favorite drink, which he invented and he calls a stinky pinky. Yep, that's that's a stinky pinky. <laughs> that's it. So that see, you're it. getting three cocktails this evening. You are. You now you have my father's secret recipe <laughs> for his favorite homemade cocktail. I hope he's so happy that you shared it. Oh, he's going to be thrilled and also mm -hmm. like a combination of thrilled and also just she told everyone. Yeah. Maybe you're he'll welcome. be thrilled about that too. Maybe he will be, who knows? All right, and now an ounce of vermouth. <gasps> Oh, it's gonna get even prettier. It is, and it did. Look at that. Very, very nice. All right. And now just <laughs> now just drink it. Now we need to cool it down a little bit. So we're uh -huh. gonna put some ice in there, and we're gonna give it a good stir. All right. So just enough ice to cool it down. We certainly don't want to water it down. Oh, good lord, no. Good lord, what no. What a terrible idea. I know. I'm sorry I even said it. I'm ashamed. So give it a nice, good stir with this pretty, pretty spoon. <laughs> very pretty spoon. It's a I love this spoon. <laughs> I'm gonna stir a drink now. You should, you should also take that spoon home. I might, is that, it's yeah. a gift for me? I think so, think of yourself, I just said. That's Put true. yourself first this holiday This is my season. spoon now. <laughs> if you say it's yours, it is. And now what? Now we're gonna put some ice in this rocks glass. Some oh. rocks in the rocks glass. Rocks in the rocks glass. Two bits, that's right. <laughs> I like that. I do too. And now we're going to strain this mm -hmm. and watch this beautiful cocktail. <gasps> so festive, so lovely, so simple. It really is, and it's so pretty. It is, it is. And we're going to give it a little garnish because it's the holidays. We all need some tinsel. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? What? The word garnish is almost like my surname. It is. I thought you were going to give me a fun fact about garnish. Nope. I'm glad you didn't. <laughs> it is fun. We're going to squeeze this orange Only rind Only two in here. letters different. It's very true. And now we're going to line the, we're gonna take this around the rim of the glass. You get some nice orange flavor mm -hmm. with every sip. Drop that in there <gasps> and there you are. Look at that, look at the light refracting from the bevels in the rocks glass. That's right, uh, with the booze, the boozy bevels. Boozy bevels. That's it. I'm gonna taste it Please now. do. Someone has to. Oh, that is so good. So good. It's uh, so festive and sharp and the, mm -hmm. the orange, I can't, I've lost my words immediately. <laughs> 
That's how good it is. That's so you should how try making good it this is. at home. No, it really is. It's it's warming and um, the orange sort of warms it up even more. And yes. see, no, the words aren't getting better. I'm going to stop. <laughs> Let's move on to our second cocktail. Yes, let's. A boulevardier. Now we just Ooh. drop this ice on the ground. Ah. Very nice. That's all the cleanup is on the holidays. So this is almost the same. This is what I mean. It's very okay. close. But instead of one to one to one, with bourbon, bourbon needs a little bit more attention. So it's one and a quarter ounces bourbon to one ounce Campari, one ounce vermouth. So <gasps> the bourbon just needs it. It needed to feel more special. So it calls for a bit more bourbon. Lovely. I now, the, and this would be your choice of it. This is perfect yes. because in thinking of ourselves, yes. we're actually serving uh, a drink that you would particularly like and a drink that I would particularly like. Because I like gin and Rachel likes bourbon. Yes, I do. If you ever want to know what to get us for our birthdays. Yes, now you know. <gasps> Flats of both. So we have some <laughs> buffalo trace, which is lovely. A lovely mm -hmm. bourbon. And we're going to do the same thing. So with my very accurate measuring, I'm going mm -hmm. to do one ounce of bourbon and then a bit more. <gasps> That's my favorite way to make a cocktail. It's pretty fun. And again, you could do as much a bit more as you'd like. Just make sure it balances out with the other booze. You really can't go wrong with this cocktail. Now we do the same. We do one mm -hmm. ounce of Campari. Come up here. Sure. Oh, look how pretty already. Oh, look, so and it's pretty. orangier yes. because of the because of the uh, the, so the bourbon. bourbon. Yeah. That's right. Very festive, very simple. And these are so lovely and quick to make. Mm -hmm. If you have a big, you know, a, a big party. I don't know how big parties are allowed to be whoop, right now, but. There you go. Okay, so now we do the same thing. We add ice in there, enough to cool it down. All right. And we're gonna serve this a different way. We're not gonna serve this with ice. We're gonna serve it in a different glass, but you certainly can serve it over ice if you would like. Can I use the pretty spoon again? You must. I beg of you, I implore you, use the pretty spoon again. There it is. Even a bit more, I say. Give mm -hmm. it a good stir. Some more? Yeah, Some more? that's perfect. Ah, okay. Alrighty. Now mm -hmm. we're gonna strain it and pour it into our little coop. The satisfying strainer. That is very satisfying. Oh. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Do you want to hold the glass? Sure. For me this I'd love to. Excellent. So right in. <gasps> festive, 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 festive. And that's perfect. And now do we, we do the orange Cornish again. We do the orange Cornish. Now you have to call all, all garnishes Cornishes. Mm -hmm. It's just what has to happen. To satisfy my colossal ego. <laughs> that's it. That's what the holidays are all about. <laughs> me, me, me. <laughs> Here we go again with the orange just around to make sure we get all that good orange oil in there. Oh, and there so we good. are. And you go ahead and try day. this one. Oh, I certainly shall. Mmm, so good. Just a hint of sweetness because of the bourbon. A little sweeter than the classic Negroni. But it's still so much going on. The orange is so bright, it's so festive, it's so easy drinking. Highly recommend. <gasps> cheers, my friend. Cheers to you, too. <laughs> and cheers to all of you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Gee, Nancy, the place sure does look swell. Thanks, John. Our holiday party is sure to be a smash. Gumdrop, have you been shopping again? Where did you get these fancy plates? Don't worry, dear. We inherited them from our great Aunt Marjorie. She died? Yes, John, but don't be sad. Our holiday season can still be merry and bright. Aunt Marjorie wrote her will with De Villers Jones. De Villers Jones? De Villers Jones, Edmonton's finest estate planning firm. Executing her estate was a breeze. But what if I have other legal needs? Never fear, John. De Villers Jones can handle even the toughest legal conundrums surrounding death. Their practice covers estate planning, grants of probate, estate administration, and every sort of estate litigation you can think of. I have no idea what that is. Sugar Plum, you don't have to. De Villers Jones makes dying easy. De Villers Jones LLP takes great care of you eternally the law is in our bones we're the pillars jones we have so many incredible shows coming up at the varscona theater in the coming months here is a look at what is coming up next
Teatro La Quinta China took over our stage this summer to film a series of brilliant little plays by Stuart Lemoyne. It's my pleasure to be able to share one of those plays for you tonight. Here it is, a holiday classic for our time, starring Mark Meir and Andrea House, Stuart's lovely little play, Fatalism. Storms are coming. Sure looks it. Big clouds. Big rolling black clouds. We're like to be struck by lightning. Think so? Been lucky so far. But I figure sooner or later. Suppose you say that just cause all your brothers was struck by lightning. Now March, not all. Little Timmy got hit by a van. Hmm. Well, you're right, of course, Pete. But you know I'm confused just because all your sisters was hit by vans. Yep. All four of them. How many were those Volkswagen vans again? Three. That's right. I forgot. I think we ought to head indoors. My fur. Case of the lightning striking? Don't matter where you be if lightning's after you. We're indoors, just more like to burn the house. Well, maybe that'd be for the best, Pete. If I'm dead and struck down, then I don't want our old house just sitting here for people to go through. Maybe we ought to burn it up right now, just to be on the safe side. Maybe. Oh, but what if those clouds just roll on by and we don't get a storm after all? Well, there'll certainly be other storms now, won't there? Ain't that the truth. Well, I'll just finish shilling these here peas and... And we can go on in and start soaking some rags in kerosene. I'm wondering, too, if I ought to burn the crops. Why fur? Well, we go on and fry like we think. There won't be no one to do the harvest. And the crops will either spoil or somebody else will have to do it. One of the other farmers who won't have the time. There will be in the great beyond, with all the local folks cursing our name for not being here to look after the wheat. Ain't it the truth? What's that saying? As ye sow, ye better stick around and reap. Words to live by, March. Even when you're dead. Well... I guess I'll head on out to the shed and find me some gasoline. We can use gas on the crops, but I think you're right to use kerosene in the house because of it not being so stinky. I like the smell of kerosene. Sometimes I think I wouldn't mind a taste of it. Maybe on some salad greens or, or a picnic slaw or some such. Well, March. Maybe today's as good a day as any to give that a try. Agreed. And if them greens ain't too tasty, well, we can just set fire to them. Good idea. Well, yes, I'd better, Mosey. I say, Pete, you gonna burn them critters in the barn? Thought I might, seeing as how they can't look after themselves too well. Peter, now there's a funny thought. <laughs> Think of them cows trying to feed each other and feed the chickens too. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you hurry on. Storm's coming faster and suddenly we got a lot to do. I'll be quick. Quick, quick like lightning. 
Tarnation. Now I'm a widder. They say that when you first get to be a widder, you're always making up too much salad. Guess I'll go see if that's true. Now, the main course, mm. another cookless recipe. <laughs> Festive Frosted Spam Loaf. Oh, it's a fresh one, you can tell by the sound. I <laughs> love that sound. All right, I'm gonna use my Phillips handy electric knife to cut this into three pieces. Turn it on first, let's hear that sound. Oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. That is art. That is art. <laughs> okay. Now, after I've taken the Spam and cut it into three slices, I'm going to lay it on here and layer it with roasted bell peppers. And while I'm doing that, Davina is going to show us the frosting. That's right. Here we go. So we've got some mashed potatoes made up here already. Of course, these are instant because this is another cookless recipe, as we said. And we've got a nice big bowl of them here. We're gonna divide them up. We've got, we'll have three bowls then. So we've got these two, so three bowls. We add a little bit of green food coloring here into this one, a few drops. Of course, the food coloring goes everywhere when we use it in these <laughs> special little bottles. Nice red mashed potatoes. Everyone loves that. So what I'm going to do now is layer our beautiful little loaf. Oh, look at that. I know. Three layers high. Yes. Oh, I, you know what? There yeah. You go. That's yeah. it. <laughs> beautiful. Okay. Now, nice green. Okay. what we are going to be doing is spreading that gorgeous mm -hmm. icing potato icing over our Spam. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. There we go. Let's just fill that one a bit. That, you know what? That's a perfect color, a nice Christmas green. Mm -hmm. I'll take, I'll take a little bit more and do the front. Oh, it's going on quite oh. Oh. This is so much fun. Because it's almost like Play-Doh. Well, it is, and also, it's really funny to see the kids' faces when they think it's a little cake, and they cut into it, and it's a Spam loaf. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't love Spam? Exactly. Oh, that's going on nicely. Okay, so now we've got the white, and we've got the red here, and uh, if you've got a little um, baggie, if you want to do some um, little extra time, you know, a few more minutes because it was a cookless recipe. <laughs> oh, I, I can maybe do some piping even. Oh, why don't oh. I do that? <gasps> oh, it is a perfect little cake. Oh, look at that. Mashed potato piping. Mm. Oh, beautiful. Oh, let's get that up there. Oh, and we've got, of course, our olives. Perfect for holiday decorating. Some Just olives on cover there. that little thing there. These have pimento in them as well, so it's got a little bit of red. Oh, we should be on the great baking show. Oh. Oops, that one fell down, and then we want to put it along here. There we go. You know, it's friends and family. Just use your fingers, right? As long as you don't lick. Who doesn't oh. love a nice olive? Hmm? Holiday frosting. There we go. Trees. All our little trees. Do you want to put a little hat in Oh, there? do you want one? One little hat? How many hats do you think? Do you want, should we put a hat on top? A hat on top? No. <laughs> I don't know. Is there oh, one? let's be risky. Okay. Let's put a hat on top. Maybe a little one there. Let's okay. Make it. How many 
many times can we touch the food before we serve it? <laughs> exactly. Uh, maybe one. Okay, we've got it. Look at that. Holiday. Hey. Holiday. Holiday festive recipe list. <laughs> cookless. Cookless. No, there is recipe. <laughs> it is a recipe. It's cookless. <laughs> cookless cooking. Cookless cooking. Mm, look at that. <laughs> Enjoy. Once again, Andrea House. Why can't we see? 
John, I just don't feel like cooking tonight. Don't worry, Nancy. Let's go out on the town. But, John, what if I'm really hungry? Well, I know a street that'll leave you more stuffed than a stocking. Where, John? Where? Located in the heart of Old Strathcona, you'll find three amazing restaurants all in a single block. The next act. Pip. And meat. Three. One, two, three. They're the restaurants made just for me. For a premium cocktail, Pip is your spot. The next act is bumpin' and the burgers are hot. If you've got a craving for one special cut, go to Meat, Glorious Meat. The next act, Pip and Meat. Why do one restaurant when you can do three? The next act, Pip and Meat, with pals. For sandwiches. Coming soon. This next piece is a collaboration between Ballet Edmonton and the Edmonton Opera. It was filmed on the Varscona stage and features music by composer Jen McMillan and poet Lisa Martin. This is What Comes Next.
The Varscona Theatre is a really special place and your support is what keeps it going. We hope you'll consider making a donation to the theatre tonight so that we can keep this incredible art happening on our stage. From all of us to you, happy holidays. Thank you so much for watching tonight and we will see you next year. so sweetly they're gonna knock me off my feet a lot of kisses on the bottom i'll be glad i got them i'm gonna smile and say i hope you're feeling better a little when you're having your cookless recipes, right? Mm, cheers, 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 cheers. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, delicious. Mm, swallow, mm -hmm. swallow, mm -hmm. uh-huh, mmm. Mm. <laughs> that was wonderful. Mm.